Look at that view. Now that's a view I'd want to wake up to every morning. And I do. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We've been crushing it this week. We had the snowmobile show. Gold Rush Brennan came down for that. Uh, Eric Jalbert was here, Hurricane Pat. And uh, then Brennan came here after. So we decided we were going to jump some cars, go see some people, do a meet and greet. So right now we're going to do a little podcast, a little interview. We got Brad McNine here too. So let's, uh, let's start it's this. Summertime, right? These two. Do you guys start the podcast already? Let's rock and roll. Oh, I've been waiting for you guys. Just... so busy on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the phone was oh really my god, oh my god. Uh, it's no, tough, right? Yeah. It's I'm tough. There. I mean, 1,500 followers. First, yeah, sure, surely, but slowly. Uh, oh, we're taking a chunk. There's no way you can get to 16 hours <laughs> oh, yeah. without a really snack on something. Drink black coffee and water. Oh, oh my god. What's your best smell like? Uh, <laughs> I'd smell worse this morning while the booze coming out of me. <laughs> what booze? I mean, yeah, I don't drink. This yeah. Is hefty. Oh. Just a cola. Huh. Oh, so right. what's up, kids? Gold Rush Brennan, nice to see you again, big guy. Uh, hey, Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you today. <laughs> Mr. Brad McNine. So, yeah, season Same. 10, done, wrapped up. Wrapped it's up. Good to be, good to be almost home. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's better than home here. Were home? How long were you home for? Getting my hair. Uh, I think I was home just about two weeks. Yeah. Oh, what I mean is busy, you get home, all the family wants oh, to see you, yeah. trying to get things done before the snow falls, and yeah, clean yeah, the yard yeah. up. All the friends want to see you too, and have oh. a night, and you're like, just. No, I just oh, want to sit on my couch and be sensitive. <laughs> I'm going to the cop yeah, go house. Yeah, <laughs> going to the free house. So, yeah. uh, no, we just did the sled show. That was pretty wild and crazy. Yeah, you had a lot of fans there. Right? Yeah, yeah, holy smoke. Thanks for <laughs> inviting me out, man. Oh, yeah. Last. Were you expecting that many people? No, you know what? Like, not at all. And it's funny because like, I, I haven't been to anything with that many people in one place because I've been up in the bush for the last eight months. Yeah, and, you've never even been to Ontario. I've never been farther east in Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because a lot of us have never gone out there. Yeah, and a lot of you guys have never come I didn't here. feel like I'd miss much skipping every province in between because <laughs> there's nothing but fields. Right? Yeah, yeah, Alberta and Saskatchewan there is pretty flat. Well, thanks. <laughs> Edmonton has been far enough for me. Got everything I need there. Yeah. Brad, you good? How you been? I'm good. How was your weekend? When ATV in, Oof. we had a time. <laughs> there was a time. Yeah, we had a time. Should I be glad I missed it? or? You know what? Uh, the trails, oh, they were mucky. They were there mucky. was a couple tight spots. I'm well, not it rained sure. that week there. Right? Well, even on the Saturday we got there, it didn't even, it rained on Saturday night. Saturday oh, was, yeah. oh, it was like chocolate milk. Chocolate. Razor oh. J throws me in there. <laughs> oh. He's like, you won't need your raincoat. We're not famous. You Jay's, never say it. He dives straight Jay's in. Jay's famous that. words, we're not getting wet today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> Two and a half minutes in, so. <laughs> I got a player's general just like, I like having a little box and stuff to yeah. use for work. But uh, I got the doors with the zip up windows and I was, I was like fully capped and so I was like yeah. 100% but what a dream, like that's yeah. so, oh. you can hit anything Well, at he used to have, his own machine had a back window, which stopped oh, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. But this time it was yeah, like, it comes up, on those just on comes side of sides, like when you floor it, all the mud comes up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right? I got window front back doors. I'm like perfect. Yeah, the heat turned a little heat. The only thing that sucks is they don't have air conditioner in it. My buddy just bought it on new uh, Ranger. What are they called? Uh, yeah, but they're called the uh, something addition. They're like 50 grand fully capped oh, in wow. power windows, AC. Really? Three's the old like uh, four seater. Uh, three. It's got the bench. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, it is unreal. When you turn that AC, it's better than your pickup. It's freezing. You know? <laughs> like, oh, I gotta trade my in now. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just turning the full blown cars. Now. Oh yeah, they are. They're gonna mash together eventually one day. We'll be ripping Raptors down the trail. You can it's honestly yeah. we'll take the Raptor. Like yeah. Saturn's <laughs> probably more fun. It's four hundred bucks, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't get me started on Saturn. Yeah, oh, Saturn's right. where it's at. That's, this is what I've been told. That's anyway. what you need is a plow vehicle. For yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saturn. All wheel drive Saturn. How much were they back in the day? They were they were like, not expensive. They were like grand. Cavaliers. Oh yeah. It was like GM had uh, Chevy, Pontiac, Saturn, and Buick, and like yeah, that was it. That's that's the end of my story. This one's gonna be metal. This one's gonna be plastic. Why wouldn't they make more cars plastic? Maybe it's expensive once you actually crack it. But pollutes the, pollutes the ocean. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? The turtles are that stuff. Yeah. I don't do a quick that. air clean here. Greta wouldn't be happy with you. Who's Greta? The little Swedish girl that everyone ruined her childhood because we drank. Oh, yeah, oh, Greta. Greta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you can just say Greta Passion. Oh, she's she, 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 reads, she reads the internet and knows it all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so, she's out for a good cost. I sailed over here on a yacht with a big old diesel generator just polluting the ocean. And yeah. she's sitting in a train with her iPad watch, plugged in watching that. Yes, like, <laughs> dinner there. I'm like, oh, they... <laughs> right now, people are just cutting this part out and just going to be a, lot, a bunch of hate towards us. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. Oh, man, you should hear it. Hey, we're all for it. <laughs> I haven't lost enough friends yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've followed too many people instead of doing yeah. that. Look at the focus, just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, oh, come yeah, jump she me. is. Come jump me. We just jumped the uh, Ford Focus almost twice, one and a half times. That's that, that honestly made probably my whole month, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool jumping carry. Yeah, it's yeah. a huge rush. Well, you talk to Parker. We're coming down there. We'll set up a whole thing. Line of 30 carries. Give us the B6. You guys can continue working. We'll just set we'll jump up <laughs> yeah. in the background. Oh, man. Just keep piling them on top of each other. How sweet would it get to be? We need like an 80. Like a big, a big boat, boat that like Lime the boat. only thing it breaks is when it folds in half. And then it'll take, <laughs> it'll take a nine jumps. You yeah. couldn't even do it. Okay. It would be so. It's pretty crazy. stronger so than heavy. a dozer frame. <laughs> it's so. Heavy. Like I remember <laughs> when I was a kid, like my dad, the old cars, like my uncle be in front, and like they could they bump each other at the road because they're just built to hit each other. <laughs> That's they why just, when you crashed, you your whole body blew apart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is true. Hey, I've well, seen a couple of those. Lucky you didn't have to deal with that 30 years ago, yeah. right? Well, there's still a few. That's the uh, I've done a couple uh, classic car restoration accidents, and they do. They don't fare well. The car fares well. Yeah. But the people don't. But it's full milkshake. Yeah. We won't get into, <laughs> yeah. de won't get into detail. Yeah, no, think about like the old paint hardeners held it all together, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to clear some overburden? Just yeah. bring it back. <laughs> Jumping into that. The caprice just comes flying. Yeah. Oh. Got Brad with a snowplow in the front. Parker good. would allow us on there for about 13 minutes. He's like, you boys got to go. Yeah. Shut her down. Yeah. Mitch would be worried sick. Who are these delinquents you brought up? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Bunch of recluses. So how, the year was good? Yeah, very good as year. As good as it could be. Yeah, <laughs> busy, man. Yeah. Super busy. I mean, it, everything went well. The crew was great. You know, we got quite a core group now, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, all of us say that. Everybody just knows their role. and No peasants? No, no. It was good, so. Eight, what was it, eight months? I, I was pretty much gone almost eight months. Yeah, that's a while. I went up a bit early to help. I feel like I just saw you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a year ago. February. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. Yeah, you went up early there and. Yeah, I came back to grab my camper just because it was pretty nasty to get in. 30 so, hours so each way. 30 hours there, 30 hours back, 30, 30, hours, 30 hours back again. Yeah, Jeez. it's like 3,000 kilometers. And then eight years. months, and then 30 hours oh, back. Yeah. I came home once for two weeks, so that was You good. flew home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Drove home for two weeks. Like, get home. That's a long ride. Towing oh, a, a big oh. camper. That's yeah. basically like, But the thing is, you got to learn how to like split it into like four-hour periods, right? Because yeah. like... Yeah, once you get out of a place called Fort Nelson, it's just desolate. Like there's nothing. There's like Toad River, which is like a blip of the gas station. Yeah. Beautiful little spot, but like mm. there's not even phone service there. I don't even know how you want to live there. <laughs> and uh, so then from there, so then you get to Lear Hot Springs. They're beautiful natural hot springs. It's awesome. Would you take a break and dip in the hot springs? I, I sometimes do, but I'm on a mission when I go yeah, there and back. I'm like, there. oh, I stop. That's an extra hour and a half. Yeah. Kind of stop. Yeah, yeah. Go do it. But I went in there this spring on my way through and stopped in it. It says no booze or anything, but I took a beer with me and like, ah, the hell. <laughs> and all of a sudden I pull in there, there's a huge party, cooler there, cooler <laughs> rock, people bring barbecue. And then I, I come to walk in, Sonny's in my hat and all right, and they're like, hey, you're from Gold Rush. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, am I going to get in trouble? Next thing you know, I spent the night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just like, set up the trailer. <laughs> well, there ain't no video of me drinking beer and somebody says it. But they're cool, man. It's awesome. Chill out. And it's just a hot spring. Like, it's not like a. Yeah, no, they just got like a little hut built around it. There's no, no, um, like, is it something like pay to use? Like, is well, it in the summer they do because there's campsites and everything, oh, okay. but in the spring and winter, that there's nobody yeah, around, it's so open. it's open. Yeah, like all they did was build like lean to all around it, like board it in with like yeah. outside change rooms and stuff, and like there's some bathrooms, but yeah, it's cool, man. And it's like cool. smoking hot in there, it's awesome. When yeah. in the summer when it was 30 above outside, you, you just about die when you walk in. Yeah. Right. You almost don't want to go there, so no. Yeah. Just like a nice gravel bottom and stuff, it's cool, man. Yeah, we, we did to that. go. We yeah, did that one when I was up there, just on the creek. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. I went and jumped in the creek and 
Oh, yeah. So uh, if you're hungover, you just dive right in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little glacier water. Yeah. So. Pretty awesome. But yeah, and then I'm like, nah, man, it was like, you see, it was just a busy season. A busy season. What did you do, 20 episodes? I think it's 20 or 22, something like that. Jesus. Yeah. At least you don't have to, like, you don't have to, like, script things. At least you're not, like, an actor that no, has to remember what to yeah. say. No. Just try not to break anything. Sometimes I bug them, you should do that, and I'm thinking, I <laughs> never remember what to say. Yeah. <laughs> you catch me reading my script all day, man. <laughs> you got it written on your hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're like, yeah. <laughs> Just causing drama up there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe that guy. Yeah, yeah, I definitely would. <laughs> is there much drama up there? Or? Uh, I don't know. Like what you see on TV. That's the most part. Yeah. I can see. It's just, we're all like, you got to form as a family up there. Right? Yeah, we're yeah, with yeah, them I mean, more than our actual family. I guess if something family. gets in that causes drama, they don't last long. No. Okay. Really, yeah. But you think like six, it's a normally a six month season, right? How many people will be up there? I think with everybody in camp and office and our crews about. 20 or something yeah. like that? So they get in the camera crew? Oh, them, yeah, I don't know. Are they in the they same camp? No, they have their own camp there. So, yeah. I don't even know how many they're between the three of our mine sites. Like, each mine site has their own crew, right? Yeah, so yeah. we have ours here, and Tony has his, and Rick has yeah. his. So there's probably, they, f they filter out so much too, like they're always on a rotation. Right? Really? It's so yeah. far away, a lot of them are from England. Uh, that's where Rob TV's from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You just get to know a new person and boom, they're gone. You're like, oh, I just remember your name, your last day. <laughs> a lot of people for one you know, TV no, show. It's busy though, like you wouldn't believe how much there is to do for everybody, right? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I think when you watch a movie and you see all the credits at the end, yeah. and it's like an Hundreds hour going people, through, yeah. you're like, you understand why when you yeah. get around. I thought there was just a camera guy, director, makeup person. Yeah, no, <laughs> no makeup. That's how our TV show. No makeup. Hey, we just make my hands in the grease and just. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch is your makeup guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's actually doing you. my makeup the other day at their dirt shoot, so. <laughs> you guys trim all your own hair when you're up there, don't you? Oh, yeah, we do our own hair. Butt cuts. <laughs> Got a little shaft. Sure I just seven. started a mohawk because I'm like, nobody can do the fade yet or trying to figure yeah. that out. It looks like crap. You almost look like three students. just goes nothing and then straight out because yeah, they got right. oh yeah terrible. that's why everyone's wears a hat oh, yeah. Parker, Parker just lets it grow oh he yeah just lets her dad that's yeah. what happened to Tony and he didn't yeah. let him cut his hair it just I love when he's oh, standing yeah. on the start of the year he's like you know kind of half cleaned up and yeah. then all of a sudden it's like he looks like a bit of a mom of snowman oh yeah yeah, yeah that's exactly what he looks like <laughs> yeah he's gonna make sure this thing's still going oh yeah we're good oh, yeah. we're good I got I Perfect view of Brad's crotch. So there it is. There's no hole in those pants. Oh uh, no, I don't know. Actually, these are pretty old. <laughs> yeah. Never yeah, those, those have seen a lot of YouTube episodes. You know what? I need to. I need to. We didn't slide the car hard. Yeah. I need more pants. What? Yeah. We're gonna, we just decided it's like an hour or two. Oh. You okay? What time are you going? Uh, we're probably gonna leave here at like eight. Just tell them, tell them that you got like a bad accent you gotta go to, you'll be all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off tomorrow. Hey, is that hard? Right? But I have a hockey game at 11. Yeah, cancel it. You got to pick up hockey with this, No, years. it's a league. <laughs> it's a league. And I gotta take, I gotta get back in shape. How do you have a league during the day on a Tuesday? Because we're all emergency service workers. Oh. It's police, fire, So if someone gets hurt, I you kill know, them. Oh, you're there. Usually the doctors <laughs> are the there. If you get a puck in the mouth, the doctors are in the room, it's a shh. Back out there. It's like the pro. We're basically pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't have to hire anyone. Everyone's yeah, already there. Pro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. For you. It's right for taste and stuff. Oof. That's not bad, eh? It's no. best. I'm actually thinking that's going to be my new drink of choice. <laughs> I had to bring it over here. We're going to plug that. I yeah. didn't know we were plugging this. So we're I didn't plugging know what this now. This is, this is Barn Burner Whiskey, handcrafted from Ontario. Yeah. Uh, you know here. what I'm glad? You got two bottles. I already snaked two before you even tasted it. <laughs> well, I'm, glad, I'm just actually, glad it's amazing. It We're is so You never know what to go down to Carhartt tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can go to, oh, you're doing the meet and greet tomorrow. We can do the yeah. hot tub. Hot tub. It's going to be a tight day. Or we'll just make a one day. When do you have to go back to work? Wednesday. In the morning? morning. Yeah, 7 a.m. Okay. In Luton, though. Maybe we'll come to Carhartt tub after. So. I'll get Jay to drive Wednesday morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah, I fly on Wednesday afternoon. So. Yeah. 
So we're going to go get an ice machine on Thursday morning. Are we? The ice machine's coming. Is it coming? Yeah. Can't All tell right. any details or anything, but we're getting an ice machine. We're getting an ice machine. We, we, like, we go boating. We have a nice little lake where I live. Yeah. And we boat every weekend. And my buddy's like, man, I should just spend whatever it was, like five or ten grand on an ice machine. He goes, I probably spend 20000 a summer on an <laughs> ice machine. Yeah. You just, you yeah. know, yeah. go to shore, jump boat, grab some more. You can get an old industrial one. It worked amazing. We had one here. It was like this big. 150 pounds a day. And then we just put a deep freezer beside it. We bought like big plastic bags, zip them up, throw them in there. Yeah. We had a boat uh, for two years. That thing, I used to just throw bags of ice, even if it was just two of us. Mm -hmm. I put six yeah. bags on there. Oh, yeah. I just put it in to keep the engine cold. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Performance. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It was a good day. Good what are you day. doing, Mike, out there? I'm telling you, it's going to be tough. We're going to choose what time of year we might want to go out west. It's this well, I'm not home in the yeah, summer. Yeah, well, do you want to sneak into the show or do you want to go to this? Oh, yeah, you're we'll just go to your house. house. Yeah, we'll go check on the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. Take the boat out, feed the dog, stop the woods. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that will be good. Go see Send the boys. Me pictures. We'll do a quick podcast from yeah. your place. Yeah, yeah, you're out of beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Mitch when he found him, a big joke. Because he's like so gentle on everything, right? Yeah. He's just like. He's oh, a mechanic, yeah. so he's a mechanic that does take care of his own stuff. I'm like, oh, a lot yeah, don't yeah. want to wear his own stuff. So I'm like, you can borrow anything you want. I don't care what it is, except for the blonde. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll get in trouble for that one. We need to have Mitch down here. Mitch, he's a good down. dude, man. Just bring the whole crew. Oh, yeah. You guys need crew. to do a North American tour. Yeah, my like, house. That's it. He just had his little baby girl there. So oh, he's yeah. uh, he's trying to stay home like he did. Yeah. Just, luckily, he got home just in time. He got home for a day. Really? And they wow. got home and they're sitting there. And he said, "All right, bring it up." Well, yeah. She's just like, she's like, I think we should go. Or and he's like, really? And then all of a sudden they went and boom. So I was like, thank God he made it home. You know, like we're all kind of nervous with that. Do so they have? They got a medic up there or something? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a hospital in Dodson City. Is there? But I mean, what's that? Thirty minutes away? An hour and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Got rough, got rough Close by. You should hear about the Jesus chef they have there. Let's see, he's a, is he a medic? Oh, yeah, he's their medic. Like, he has, what, level three gets to be a medic? I'm not. Well, there's, yeah, there's what ACP. Is, well, it's, it might be different out there. It's like level one it is, is what anybody would get to Well, it's PC, job. primary care paramedic, advanced care paramedic, and then there's critical care paramedic. If you think you'd be he's just talking to P3 guy or whatever, yeah. P1 or P2. And I think he could probably give you oxygen and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, like, 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 we, do you think that's all we do? <laughs> I'm hung over, man. It's probably serve about just to get oxygen or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Oxygen. I think I could give you both the money. Yeah, that's that's about, uh, no, no, I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> and then he's the chef. Yeah, he's the chef, man. He is. Um, like, it's like eating at the cake. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's oh. amazing. Like, he's not the guy that goes with Parker on the, uh, he's not on the show. The Parker summer? Trails? Yeah. No, no, no. Because that guy is a medic, right? That's the beard, right? The beard. beard yeah, 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 that's Fred, man. He's an ex uh, special force. Yeah, he's yeah. Great. He's badass. Dude. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love I love that we got to work with him just to hear, like, he doesn't talk about it. Did you guys this year? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. came out towards the end, but just to hear his stories there and stuff. Like, I mean, not that he goes into too much detail, but just to know, like, what they train those guys really? to do, man. They're just, like, it is very intense. And was he dedicated? U.S. or Canadian? U.S. Yeah. U.S. Yeah. But like he said, it's like, like the schooling and everything, and like the medical. Uh, it's like holy, like, you have yeah, to be focused totally to be able to just get through the training. Like he said, yeah. uh, it's very few percentage that actually get through. Oh it, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's cool. so. Hey, and then he drives drives rock truck. Yeah, you drive, he'll come out drive rock truck. You grab the fuel truck when you've got time. Really? Come to the yard fuel it because we've been quite a ways away from. He's in that rock truck cooking burgers for everyone. BC, yeah, he's so, for BC. Oh yeah, yeah, he comes some days, comes down, makes a hot lunch for everybody. On, Bring barbecue down. I've seen the taco last week, the taco lunch. Oh, oh yeah, 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 tacos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually made me really angry at one of yeah. yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> okay, we should, yeah, we haven't eaten yet, eh? You guys no. didn't eat lunch? No, we got back and then you showed up. Oh, I thought you guys were getting lip fits going. We were gonna, and then you showed up and then we just did some yeah, care. Man. I'll throw them in the oven. Should I tell Lori we got two more coming for dinner? <laughs> yeah, good. I don't know what what's, what's your dinner? I don't know. Should we shoot the text live here? Fire it over. Tell, her, tell everyone to have prime rib like our cook makes. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be anything like the cook. No, no, I know. We got two kids. It'll be something quick yeah. and easy. Yeah. Tell her she's got to drive rock truck after. Yeah. <laughs> the fuel truck needs refueling. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, man. He's pretty you guys get in here more? 
<laughs> oh, we'll drink some more. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh, so the season was good. You can't, obviously, you can't tell us much. No. About. I mean, it's... Even like, when the camera's off, you can't tell us. No, I can't off. release too much. I'd be in big trouble for that, but... I don't even just, want to know. It was just good. Yeah, don't ruin it. I'll, no. I'm excited to watch the show. It's just yeah. good in the sense that we have such a good crew, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, well, that's where I was saying it was real good. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It, it's a pretty good struggle out there. And exactly. stuff, right? yeah. It's just... When you have a core group that everybody just knows what to do and is working with each other, and like you know, you can look from here across that field, and you just can read each other's minds. Yeah. That to me, what makes it good. Like it's, uh, I'm sure it's gotten easier over the years too, and oh. and we only see probably like less than ten percent of <laughs> what actually yeah. happens, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gotten, I mean, a little easier. It's got, like, it seems like it's gotten easier, but then the the time frames have gotten tighter. It's, oh, like, it's like okay, we want to get twice as much done. In the oh, same amount of time, time. Yeah. Well, we got double the goal this year. Where we're all doing. Yeah. Well, that's like you just get there and then he lays out all out for you, like you'd see on the last ep- first episode yeah. of all this season. We're all like, oh, <laughs> you don't know that. No, yeah. oh, we're gonna like, sleep this yeah, year because he always says at the end of the year, oh, gee, I'd like to like have things like ready to go. Maybe it would be like a little. Easier? No, no, no. He, he, he just, he just, he just butters oh, yeah. you up till you get there. Yeah. It's friggin' wham. You'll be working to the winter soon. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Out boy. there, friggin' thaw. So you oh. work sixteen hours a day. You time you, you work through the night sometimes, but no. Yeah, we have night shift usually on the wash plants or in the spring yeah. with like the stripping crew, like yeah. with, with the dozers and stuff. So, and then after that, like I mean, it's nice to not be running. So if you're every doing day, is that you seven a.m. Seven till seven, yeah. Seven till seven, and then sometimes. Yeah, I mean, ten, seven, ten. Is it late after? Uh, yeah, after spring goes, it's twenty-four hour day. Like, so what? Yeah. Oh yeah, like and I mean, then, I could take a picture at eleven o'clock if I'm working. It looks like this. Really? Like, oh yeah, people are like, what, "What's that? Like noon?" I'm like, "It feels like it because the sun's only going here." Like, yeah. so do you? I've had nineteen coffees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just black out your windows in your. Oh yeah, sure. it looked like. Uh, I just joke about it. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a Beth left yeah. tinfoil everywhere. <laughs> What's that show, Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah. Pouring yeah. up a fresh okay. batch in there. It's funny because uh, the one kids that were up there before working for a few years ago would come back one day and they were on nights. Uh, we get back and there's a big chunk of plywood with red spray paints. Uh, what did it say in there? Free meth inside. <laughs> <laughs> in their trailer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a big joke. I died laughing yeah. because the two of them were hilarious together. Free Wi yeah. Fi, free meth. We call them Spiders, Nick, dude. I'm like, that sounds like a meth dealer name. <laughs> spider. <laughs> like, why do we call you spiders? Like, because when I start swinging these fists, there's so many, or it's so fast, it looks like eight of them coming at you. <laughs> he's like a tall bean pole kid. Is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's hilarious. Oh, jeez. That's funny. Yeah. 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 I need the old uh, bald eagle just to swing by. I know. Right so right away. I'm, I'm sure. He was over at Matt's house the other day. I'm his buddy. I saw There's two of them. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. One of the uh, rabbit passed away there in the harvest season so I, they came in and they were eating it passed away or combine passed away leveled it yeah yeah what do you see you from know, wildlife out there for all those vegans a lot of animals get killed <laughs> yeah <laughs> just to get some beans and corn yeah yeah, yeah 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 btw but then we made the bald eagles out. frank was happy he had a meal that day yeah yeah that's perfect Ugh. What do you, you got grizzlies out there? No, I've never seen a grizz. A few people have. There's tons of black bears running around and uh, on the camp. Ah, uh, in the spring, even they're all waking up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We we have a big grassy, like I don't even want to call it a mountain, a huge rolling hill. Like yeah, be like a mountain without jagged rocks. Probably like our blue mountains. That's so, what we call blue mountains. Yeah, yeah that's like the bowler like, mountains. That's what he calls a rolling hill. It's our blue mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our mountains are just old uh, garbage dumps here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why is there poles coming? Out? Those are <laughs> that's that's yeah. yeah. You well, so we got moose cruising around. Lots of moose up there, yeah. And these tusks. Yeah, what's with it's like a trend lately? These tusks that you pull out of the ground. Yeah, no. What, what are they? Man, what are they mammoth? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I found a couple, just the littler ones. Like I found a little one like that. It's actually like solid. It's pretty cool there. Really? So, yeah. You found a few this year? Yeah, two of them. I yeah. You yeah. just keep them, you take them home. And no, no, they're from Parker. Yeah. yeah. You got oh, Parker take yeah. some. No, I don't. No. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I got that little broken chunk oh, there, but yeah, I like he, he won't let a guy take him. Yeah. Really? Well, well, it's technically his, right? Really. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. cool just to even see one. Like, For sure. Like that huge pair he posted. Oh, that, yeah. that was the our set. That was our friend upstream there. He uh, 
he found them they are matching set and like he monitored them like a water monitor it's all because it's all like frozen mud oh, so yeah. like it works really well Makes and they were like much is underneath there oh man but yeah like those things were i think 13 feet long they said i didn't get to see them up close i see them online and park oh, yeah. take pictures of them but makes you wonder how many are down there well we're off the creek there on they used to find tons like uh, all the mining outfits have been through they kind of like went more and more and people skimming and like yeah. tons of them I'm I sure wish I could take one home, like you say, like a couple years ago, I just found one. What's he doing though? Just keeps them, I guess. Yeah. 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 They're like actually stars went for around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big dumper, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty neat though, like just to hold something that's like 20,000 years old, that's right? That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Oh, so I wish I could take one of them home that was big just because <laughs> it's like. Before Tesla. Yeah. 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 The what's that? That was before Tesla. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the wool, man? That's fucking by Oh my god. Jesus, Brad, well, they found that big one in Russia years ago and they chipped it out of an ice. They figured it walked into like a mud bog or something. I watched it on TV goes. years ago, yeah, and they had to like fire up the biggest helicopter in the world and go to Russia or something. Pull and it was out. just falling flat? No, the whole man, it's like the hair and everything. Like it went in and just must have frozen. It was fully, and like, I don't know. Imagine they're going to probably try and create one of them with yeah, DNA nowadays. Back. It would be wild. They start cloning these. How big are they? Bigger than elephants? Oh, oh yeah. they're huge. Yeah. 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 Like, well, I don't want to throw any stats. Here. Yeah, throw a stat. Yeah. I'm throw gonna say stats. four times the size. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Plus they got hair. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. five times the size. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Like to think like the thirteen foot tusks. Like I think they're probably like three hundred pounds a piece. Like. Oh yeah. So it's crazy. Stats? Oh yeah. yeah. Like can you imagine carrying two thirteen? Just, imagine tusks. that thing going through a Saturn. Just cool. Oh, oh, yeah, well, that's yeah. Neat. we need a buffalo out here. Buffalo? Oh, well, we may not. Well, well there's lots of buffalo on the way up north too. Through, um, really? Like wild buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just on the side of the road. Like, they have the roadways <laughs> huge. Like, they're pretty tame. Like, they just sit there. The lot they piss them off. Yeah. But like, you can't walk up there. Well, you probably could. They're just like dumb cows. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to jump out and walk up. No, they would yeah. kill you probably. But um, when you drive by, they're just like docile. Like, well, whatever. It's really? Tough. Like horses. Yeah. Unless you scare them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you fire it, they'll run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in Vermeer, right? Eh? In you been Vermeer. there your whole life? My whole life. Oh, I moved away to, to the Okanagan for two or three years, and then I moved over to Alberta just to have a good job there. And then, and then I got the call to head up north there. Parker phoned me because my buddy had started working for him, and this has been history. That's how you got there? Yeah, I actually yeah. was working in the in coal mines in like Fernie, BC. Like, yeah, it's a big coal mine town, yeah. like five of them out there. So I met him there, my buddy Carl, who's now Rick's mechanic. And uh, Carl. he texts me out of nowhere. Yeah, he's he anywhere, like a nice guy. Oh, he's a beauty. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy. He's crazy, man. Rare Rare guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a wild man, that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's just. Text me and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I got a new job in Alberta. It's going good. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm like, why? What? Yeah. Like, cause we we we're, were friends, but like we both work different places. So we'd stay in touch every couple yeah, months, yeah, talk, yeah. and so he told me I'm like, "Wow, dude, like that's pretty cool. I'd love to try something." And then he's like, "Oh, I'll get Parker to call you." Well, and was the show going on then? Yeah. Yeah. But he's like, "Oh, I'll get him to call you." Like two weeks goes by, I'm like, oh, yeah, I pulled a fast, but I'm in here." And then Parker called me out of the blue. I'm like, "No way." Yeah. I recognize that voice anywhere. So yeah, yeah. talk to me. Right you show no, no. No. So I went up and then worked. Worked out pretty well. So, so what did you play? You yeah. came in at what season then? Season six. Six? Yeah. And this, this is ten? Yep. I feel like you've been on there a lot longer. Mm -hmm. It feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long season. Yeah, I can't be around watching this long. Move when, when, when it's over, you move to Hollywood. I hope. Hey, <laughs> hey let's get an acting career going. Oh, yeah, we're going to jump cars. That's it. Right here. Discovery needs to make a show about us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll film on your off season. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you yeah, won't get to anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up there. Earlier yeah. today, you yeah. jump in that car and you're like, oh, look at that. The, the guy on TV runs away. I'm like, I hide from the cameras now. Well, you did. <laughs> we had the camera and you took off for the car. I'm like, he's not used to being filmed. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. He's a little shy when it comes to camera. Just get out of my face for a while. <laughs> what do you do now? What do you do now? I'm just going to take a piss. Like, give me five minutes here. <laughs> <laughs> the close stuff. Yeah. So when you're back home, what do you what do you do? Just kind of relax, hang out. Well, like last winter is the first time I ever took any time off since I've been done school. Like 
you know, in school I worked every day off I ever had, and yeah. then uh, I've just been work, 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 and then this year, last year, I finally took most of it off, I went to work for like three weeks, and I'm like, man, I just need to chill, like, you know, I've been working so much, yeah, I've been able yeah. to save some money to be able to do so, right? Yeah. Like, it's point of having money when you have uh, no time. Yeah, well, that's it, right? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I don't know, I used to snowmobile a lot in, in the mountains, I just kind of have I've been in the bush so long for a season, I kind of <laughs> like just being at home yeah, and yeah, for splitting sure. firewood, keeping that going, and being just around town, so. You were in Apple first too, right? Yeah, I was, oh geez, probably eight years ago in Rebel, so. You want to talk about that? Or? Yeah, sure. Snow, what were we doing? Snowmobiling, yeah. Snowmobiling? It was a big iron shoot, it was a huge like hill climb event that went on, and like, there's a couple hundred people there, and, mm. and we went back to this one place. It's the only hill that you really sit under, right? Most of them are like, between a draw or whatever, you can sit far enough back, it's not so mm -hmm. bad. And yeah, this guy was stuck on a sled, I think, and another guy or something went up to get him out or help him, and it just broke off. And Where are like, There's like everybody sitting there screaming at the bottom, ah, you watch it break and it stopped for a second, and then all of it went, like, Where are like nowhere to go. I just held it wide open and drove right into Skidoo in front of me, like, <laughs> panic mode, like, you drove me out. Well, because there's just sleds parked everywhere, sure, you couldn't yeah. get out, right? I'm like, oh, my buddy's like, whoa, oh, go. And just boom, and just feel the snow just whoosh, like a wave on the ocean. A little bit yeah. of the wind come past like 500 miles an hour, felt like. Did you say you got knocked off from just the wind? No, I held on. Man. My legs were black and blue inside. I was just death grip on the sled, like, oh. Yeah. And was, you were stopped at that point. Like, you. Well, I just drove into that one, and like, I mean, you look like that, it went boom, broke, looked back, held the throttle, and was there. Like, really? Like, that fast. Like, exactly. You couldn't get away with it, even if it were going. Yeah, I might have been able to just get clip by the side if there's no yeah. sleds maybe but like you like a blink of an eye and it's happening like, yeah yeah you know like and did you get buried oh yeah I, I popped out sitting upright with my legs out in front of me yeah and uh oh, i've never seen it still no but the funny thing is there's like 200 people there i don't know how many were actually in it but like a lot right yeah. and close to that and out of all the snow machines mine stayed beside me upside down with my ski pressing up and i probably went from here to the other side of that field man really so six you moved Oh, because it was like a dip, and we were up here, and what happened, kind of filled that dip, and I think that, like, like you know, like, water just pushed out like that and just shot us, like, I was gone, and, like, six football boom, fields. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, we looked at it, like, even on Google Maps and everything, and how far down it was, and, uh, and the I remember at one point, like, I couldn't tell where I was going, my helmet was on tight, and I just, like, yeah, like, how long did it last? <sighs> I don't know, it felt like a long Jesus. time, but I bet you it wasn't even five seconds, and yeah. it was over, and, like, I think I do at one point I could tell I was going to head first. I'm like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And you're in it, no, yeah, right? Yeah, you can feel the sleds or whatever hitting you, and you're just like, boom, and popped out, man. And it's like, the just, silence is deafening, is, a, is so true. Really? You thought you were dead for a minute, like, because yeah. it was so quiet. Especially just, with 200 like, people there. Yeah, and you don't know what happened. It was so fast, you're just like, and yeah. all of a sudden the screaming starts, people looking for each other, right? And you're like, holy man, like, yeah. this is wild. Man. And there was. People are injured? Oh, yeah. well, lots. There's two people that passed away there. Yeah. And, uh, Wasn't that the guy that got stuck? Yeah, the one guy got stuck, and the other guy, I think, if I remember the story, I don't want to say it incorrectly, but I think they were friends or business partners. Yeah, or they drove together in the same vehicle. So. I think so, yeah. And those were the two that passed away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. It was the one that caused the avalanche, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know the whole story in that. I never really looked into it. Like, yeah. It never scared me. I never had night terrors or anything, but it's just really? like, Kind of just left it all like it happened. Yeah, I'm not yeah. even reading into yeah. this, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. So uh, it stops, and then you kind of come to. Yeah, like I ripped my helmet right off my head, tied to my chin. What? Like, oh yeah, like dude, it's gone. I'm just like, and I'm sitting there with about that much snow on my legs, and it was so. Flaky. And your sled stayed with you. Must have held on to your sled. Well, for three quarters away. I yeah, I don't know. Like, like I can't just like out up here, like yeah. reaction. Yeah. Yeah, they just landed to it and that ski there, I couldn't even put, you know, you get like superhuman strength in a yeah. situation like that. And the snow like compacts so much, like I couldn't even get myself out. Like, so this, I'm trying to ask people, help get me out. There's only maybe nine or 10 of us that far down and everybody's like panic mode looking for everybody yeah, beating yeah, yeah. out. And, and uh, this kid finally came over and like, help me out. And he's like, man, I can't find my uncle and stuff. And they later, they did. and. Uh, He's like, I'm like, help pick me out, and he can't even figure out how to run a shovel. He's so bad. And normally yeah. I'm like that again. I don't like the situation. You know, oh, panic, it's a crazy but I, situation. I kept yeah, myself yeah. cool. Though. Like I don't know how. And, and this guy walks over. He's tall, and like his head was cut wide open. He had like shaved it, like bicked off head, right? And he's, <laughs> this kid's like, look at your head, man. I'm like, 
boom, shut up, man. Don't panic people. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I dig myself out after and uh, pull up my beacon. And I thought I'm picking him up. I hadn't seen a new digital one. That's when they started coming out from the old oh, Turndale yeah. one or whatever. And I was picking him up and I wasn't. And uh, so we all kind of split up and everybody's like just beacon back and forth. So like, what do you got? It's a like we it's an old a SOS beacon. Like a, and I can see where other people are. And then you have an a tag on your clothing or something? Is that no, what it's just like a transmitter. So like you turn it on and that way it's always sending a signal, and then if you're not in the avalanche, you just pull a tab out or whatever, and then it turns theirs on to search. Oh, okay. So what would that be like? I don't know, like an old analog. Like, so go beep, and then when you get closer, you like then you kind of turn your dial down on the old one, so then you you kind of narrow the search rate because it's picking it up. Oh, when you get gotcha. closer, you turn it down so you can pinpoint, and then you get your... So were you digging people up for a bit? No, I, unfortunately not where I was at. We went so far that the snow had ran out, like... That's pretty much what saved the guy. We were that far down, the snow just petered out. Jesus. So I did go out there and I was like, just tired. It was such a good day of riding and, and like deep powder, man. It was the best yeah. day I've ever had. Like you'd hit a jump and just, ooh, you couldn't even breathe. It just choked you right out. Jeez. And uh, I remember them trudging through, trying to find it. You're so tired after all that oh, shock, yeah. right? So it's wearing off. I find a glove on one side sticking out the snow like that. I'm like, oh. Like, cause it's quite a while after. Like, you yeah. don't want to see somebody. You don't want to see that. No, I didn't. I pick it up. There's nothing there. Just the gloves sitting like that. So I make my way back. Cause you know you want to do pretty tight things yeah. like this. And there's another glove on the other side like that. I'm like, no. <laughs> and there's thankfully nobody, man. Like, just, yeah. Wow. So then uh, it was like an hour and a half later. Finally, my buddy that I was riding with, and the other one got buried. He got dug out. Like everybody survived, other than two people. Like it was amazing that. Hmm. The amount of people there, and um, he he got his knee really bad. But the one guy I rode in with to meet our other buddy, he seen it like he kind of was above all the snow machines. And he when he seen it, and he was able to outrun it. Yeah, Where I went right. like this, and he kind of had a slight point that way, yeah. so he's able to hook back to yeah, get out of the yeah, way. Yeah. And he seen me do it, and I swear it was like probably a hundred feet away. It seemed like to me, <laughs> he made it like two leaps, like speared me like WWF. <laughs> Or just grab his balls. I was like, holy man, we thought you're dead. Like, we just, you're yeah, that gone. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah. And so then everybody's freezing cold, sweating away, yeah. and trying to find everybody. It's night by the time. It was just about dark, and we were riding back, and we rolled my sled over. The bars were like this. It? Like, it's hard to ride. You rolled your sled? Oh, yeah, well, that guy, because my legs were so sore, right? I'm surprised it was just ripped apart. Well, there was one I'd seen in a picture later on in the compound, like, cut right in half, gasking. Oh, like, really? Split right in two. Yeah, it's crazy. So my buddy that had made it out, he flipped my sled over because I was in a lot of pain and he, he jumped on and rode it out of this, out of the bottom of the chute and we got up there and we were riding back and people had fires lit. I remember just like, it was just like, just free. He said he was sweating all day oh, riding. Yeah. It was so warm and the powder and people were stuck and you're out there yeah. and jeez. So that was like, that was the craziest thing I've ever been through. I mean, and that was kind of before ab packs and stuff were out too, right? And, before they were a big thing, so I, I don't ride much now, but I bought a whole bunch of gear and new yeah. beacon and pack and everything just because I'm like, man, I've been through that once and I know I should. <laughs> but that. it makes me laugh because now when you're younger, when you're like teenager and shit riding in the mountains, like you, we used to go on these finger slides at Forster Creek and just one after another, like you'd get, let them get ahead of you 30 feet and, yeah, and yeah, you look weird. at the top and it's like a, a rock, kind of like a flat rock surface and then down, I'm like, I would never do that again, yeah. ever. No, like, yeah. You look at things so much here right <laughs> yeah. yeah you realize after you've been through all that yeah that's i think that's where we went forester yeah yeah it's it super weird. tight at the top mm -hmm. so did you ride out with them or no i didn't no, no. I, no, I don't have a sled right now so no. but yeah you get up there it's like you're riding and all of a sudden the sled starts slowing out it's like if this thing let out like you're done yeah right but i remember too like it's, it's like, i probably wouldn't do that <laughs> no. It's not so bad on a sunny day, but I've been in back there where the weather's blowing in so fast. It's like a bad weather belt in there. Like a good day is real good, and a bad day is shitty because it's yeah. with snow and gray sky. Yeah. And I was sitting back there at the base of Thunderwater then, and it blew in so thick that it was scary to even ride away from it because you're just like, I hope the slide doesn't come down. You're just thinking that, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Especially that you should. Like, it. Yeah. yeah. You can barely see the trail in front of you. You're just like, oh, like terrible. When we were, uh, I forget what day it was, when we were out there, it got pretty dark and then all of a sudden I heard like thunder. 
we're on the top of the mountain and we look over and like uh, the whole mountain just collapsed. Like not the one we were on, but the well, one like across the valley. Yeah. And it was like, I thought it was just thunder, right? Yeah. And it was, yeah, the whole thing just gave out. It's like, whew, and you just get goosebumps. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I've never been there. Like, Something you want. Yeah. You don't so it's very eerie feeling, yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. So. Just to witness the pure power. Oh, something like that. Say, you don't know until yeah, yeah. honestly. The only way I could describe it that I think would be close is like in a big concrete truck and that drum just going around. The yeah. like, oh, it's a whole different monster up there. We're used to riding this trail here. And yeah. you go oh, there, yeah, it's like you have to respect the mountain. Oh, the mountain don't care. No, yeah. it doesn't. It'll, it'll, well, and all these guys with these big turbos, they just they go faster the steeper you go. It's insane to yeah. watch these things. And I rode my buddies, and it's. Yeah. Man, you just steer with your knees the whole time, but it's so fast you're up the hill that yeah, you're you straight, yeah. Yeah. straight up. Yeah, and then if you don't like, have, if you turn around and you shoot, you gotta be quick to turn that around. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not like by any means that great of a rider, I mean, I can <laughs> ride, but when you watch those guys who are good, you're like, holy smokes, you come yeah. down so fast, <laughs> your heart's in your throat. I don't think I can survive it. Well, yeah. you just tap and break, right? Yeah, that the throttle kind of gears it down, but still, yeah. when you're up there, like a couple oh, times. Yeah. They tell me that halfway through, they're like, put it in reverse. I'm like, you really? told me this now? I never knew that trick. Yeah. yeah, because as soon as you grab the brake, it just grabs all the snow and then the snow comes with you. So if right. you just put it in reverse and tap it, yeah. it just digs down every time. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, you guys told me that on the last day of riding. <laughs> <laughs> Works good. See how much you be riding. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's what you should do. You should yeah. reverse. Yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, anything else, Brad, you want to ask? You want to cover it? What else we got? Well, we went on a serious conversation there. Yeah, I know. It was a good one. You get deep in these things. Yeah, yeah, I could go all night. I mean, we got a lot of A little bit more. Burn and burn and oh, there's two more in your trucks. There's two more. Those ones, yeah. the hot tub ones. Hot tub, hot tub burn, burn. <laughs> Hot tub burn. Yeah. Hot tub, hot, tub, hot tub's on. I can just move the camera. We could. <laughs> just do a live, just. Yeah, a live and Or I'm not coming home for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I won't make it back. <laughs> make it back after. Problem is, we keep sweating out the drunk and have to count even more. <laughs> yeah. Steam or run yeah. detox right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't count. No. Uh, so we, yeah. had to, we had to taste it. We had to yeah. test it. Yeah, taste, taste test. test. Taste test. Burn, burn. It passed. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. really good. So. I saw it at the store the other day. Did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's so it's there. Yeah, it's there. Huh? I guess we'll uh, wrap this one up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Brennan, for, for having coming me. out and getting to jump a car. Yeah, yeah. I had a blast. Yeah. Make sure you guys tune in to season 10 of Gold Rush. It's on Discovery Channel, 7 o'clock in uh, Canada, in the UK. I'm not sure if it's the same time in the UK, but uh, in Ireland as well, I'm pretty sure. And in the States, it's on every Friday at 9, I think. so. It's on. Just type it's it, on. Take it in the PBA. Yeah, yeah. What are we? We're Tuesday at nine. Yeah. They're Friday at nine. We're wing night at nine. Wing night at nine. You guys are Friday. We need to get wing night there. We need to get Crabby Joe's. Boom. Okay. Right the screen. Throw up season 10. Leafs game. Gold rush. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we never leave. Yeah, I know. We're there. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. We'll see ya.